I'm not sure if they've there are any mushrooms because they've they've mowed the land. Last year they had the, these lovely weird looking mushrooms here. I'm just going to go down just a little bit because I've got to go all the way back up yet. I'm just going to have a little look. There might be a few that might have escaped the... No. They might come out in a week's time. If it rains over the weekend, because there was loads of them last year, they were like... Um, actually, I can't see one. They were like missiles, rockets, that came at the ground. Actually, I can see a couple. Did you like my rendition of Jerusalem, everyone? I did actually forget. I did actually forget the words and places. I'm sorry about that, but I kept going, didn't I? Now, here we go. Here's this mushroom nut. It opens up. I expect my friend up in Lincolnshire will know what this is. She's really good with plants. She knows everything. You clever girl. Yeah, there's one there. Oh, there's another one here. So they are still here, folks. This is what I remember last year when I was on my... walk over here on the 7th of October, the day the slaughter took place. Not unbeknown to me, I was wandering around this field early in the morning and um, I was wandering around this field early, but there were loads of them. I reckon he's mowed it, mowed it. I think if it rains over the weekend, if it rains over the weekend, right, I think um, they'll all start surfacing. Like this one. Where's it gone? There it is. Yeah. Down it. Yeah, I've got a feeling it puffs up and explodes. Do you know what? I was just saying that Jerusalem song. It's made me quite emotional. <gasps> anyway, down there is Crocom Village. And normally, <coughs> for the past couple of years, what I've been doing is getting a train to Taunton, a bus from Taunton out here. It drops me off down the road down the bottom there and I walk up. <sighs> and to be quite honest, when everything runs smoothly with the bus and the train, it takes me as long as it does to drive here. And cheaper, probably. I know, I'm not quite sure about cheaper at the moment. But anyway. Yeah, it got me quite emotional, that, just singing that. <sighs> I do like that song. But look at our beautiful country. I'm going to go through the gate today and wander through the wood and get out the gate at the other end. Then I'm going to follow the route down around and um, then I'll make my way to the trick point and hire hair nap folks. But I wanted to do this because this was part of the walk on that day, a beautiful day like this. And I got off the bus, I got off the, down there, and I slowly made my way out, weaving in and out, taking pictures of the mushrooms. I've still got the video. I only showed part of it the other day. I didn't show this bit. And I'm doing it really four days in advance because of weather. If, if it was bucketing down or windy or no blue sky, I know it's not quite the same, but I've got a feeling there's going to be events going on 
either on the telly, I know a lot of people are doing things on that day. Um, so there you go. I must contact Dalmain again and the, the Hazel family. I call them Hassles, but they're called Hazels. Um, to find out if they've done any more digging around for the Cambridge stuff, because I, I found out a lot for them. Did you? Yeah. I did all the Cambridge stuff. And um, I just wondered if they got their historian to do any more. I've never done this before. I walk, I walk up that way usually. Yeah, I must get hold of them and find out. Domain. They're like linked to me through the Hassles. Hassles. I still call them Hassles. Do you? Yeah. I'm Somerset, Inoi. That's how we pronounce things. <laughs> oh dear. These lovely English speaking people that I know. <laughs> They're alright, I don't mind them. I don't you know, I don't mind them. A little bit of a breeze, folks. That's a big tree, that one, isn't it? That ain't an oak, is it? <sighs> no. Big tree, though. Better take a picture, Shill. That's big. That's nearly as big as the one in the. Um, a Foxton. Yes, there's so many places you can wander and explore, isn't there? If you think about it, it's got quite windy now. So many places. Well, I'm not. I'm staying here. I'm going to make my way back to a gate I was at earlier. Um, and then carry on following the uh, a, a route around the, this wood instead of going back on to Hurley Beacon I'm going to um, <coughs> go around its circumference space I love it doing exploring I've done quite a bit of exploring today there's lots of pheasants about as well I'm not a pheasant plucker I'm a pheasant plucker son I won't be plucking pheasants till the pheasant pucker comes. Say that when you've had a few beers. <sighs> so I just feel overjoyed when I'm out. It's like a natural high for me when I'm out in places like this. Hello, little thing. Oh, look at you. A little conker, you've fallen off the tree. Haven't you? Falling off the tree, you have. God, I hope this is going to take me to that gate. <laughs> Might not, chill. I know. Might not. Might not take me there. Oh, yeah. Keep going now. Just keep going. See where it takes you. Feel that breeze coming, can't you? Wasn't that like that earlier? If I want to, if I uh, the gate would be somewhere like there, I'll just crawl through there. I'm not sure where this is taking me. See, keep going, Jill. You love hills. Come on, you know you do. Do I? Yeah, you bloody love them. No snakes. Not one adder coming out to say hello. Hey, meanies. Sort of thought I saw something quiver then in there. Yeah, hard to say. You think it would come out today, wouldn't you? This lovely spit of sunshine. Look how lovely it would be for an adder to sunbathe here. <sighs> Don't expect the guests very disturbed, this bit. 
Looks like a farmer's tractor does so. There's another little pheasant. Oh, I don't know where this is taking me everyone. I don't care. I'm going to nip over there in a minute because I know there's a gate there. Is it? Yeah. I'm just going to get up to this like flat area and then we'll make a decision. <sighs> it was much easier going down wasn't it when I was singing. Don't think I could sing Jerusalem going up. Don't you? Nah. <sighs> this is um... This would be part of Crocombe Estate probably, you know, uh, it's a big mansion house down there in the village, a big mansion house, a famous family that go back hundreds of years and this bit will fence off, we're probably allowed on this bit, well, there's a nice looking pheasant there, he'll be gone by the time I take a picture won't he, where is he? Yeah, got him a bit. Wait, what do you want to do, Shell? So we don't know where this is taking you. I think, Phil, you've got to go that way. Instinct tells me to go this way. Has it? Yeah. I can't go down, back down, and then back up again. Can't you know? We'll go over here. Something tells me to go over here. That's where the path is going up. Is it? Yeah, I mean that path, that path might lead round. I don't mind doing it this side. I was the other side of those trees earlier. Yeah, there's like a drove going up, look. We just follow this up to the gate. I can get through easy if I want. I know. Well, I wanted to go in the field and I enjoyed singing Jerusalem on the way up down. Totally unplanned and totally spontaneous. You see, if I was with other people now, and they've got their roots planned, they might not want to do what I do. I go off track all the time. And if I feel a bit out of breath, I stop. I can see the gate. I stop. If I wanted to, I could just dip over there. But I ain't going to. No. I can see the gate, so we're not far. So down there is like an old drove, look. They have them everywhere, folks. Now if you aren't careful, Sheila, you're going to run out of memory. Not on the, not on the Kodak, you won't. But you might on here. I'll have to use the Kodak if it comes to that. The thing is, this one's got plenty of battery and I'm using the charger on this one. Right, we're going to turn off this one for a bit now. Moving out.